There's a guy to my left. He's gonna come from there. There he is. Sorry, buddy. Look at him. <laughs> He's a sheep. Where you going, Mr. Sheep? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you all doing? My name is Echo. I hope you're having a great day. We're back on Pixel Gun 3D because today we're going to be starting our consecutive weapon reviews for the brand new Trader's Van weapons. Now they were introduced, I believe it was like Friday a couple of days ago, and we have some very unique abilities. So I'm make a deal with you, every single time these weapon reviews hit 2,000 likes, I will release the next weapon review. So if you're watching this and you wanna see what they're all like before they run out, all you gotta do is be sure to hit that like button. So we're gonna be starting with the Witch's Sheep Cauldron. Uh, dude, this looks so fun. I'm so excited to do this. Now it's quite expensive because at level 55, which is the highest level in this game, it costs 3,850 coins. Now, on my free-to-play account, which I think I'm like level 17 or 18, it only costs me like 850 coins. So there's a big price difference. If you're a lot lower than me, it's going to be a little bit cheaper for you guys. Um, I, I recommend purchasing your weapons at a lower level rather than a higher level because the prices go up and up and up and up and up and up. So these are the weapons we have. By the time you're watching this, there's six, seven days left. We'll start with this one. I think this is the only mythical one, but I think the others can be upgraded to mythical anyway. Witch's Sheep Cauldron. Level 55, efficiency 219, the highest in the game. It's a special, it's mythical rockets, charge shot, turns enemies into sheep. Now, I believe this was meant to be introduced a little while ago. It's finally made it into the game. Somebody hit me with this in my live stream on Friday, and I was like, we gotta check this out. So, when you hit your enemies, you turn them into a sheep. They can still run around, but they can't shoot you. Or do anything at all. They're literally a sheep. Now, I'm really into stuff like this because it's good to see the Pixel Gun developers trying something new. I've not seen any weapon reviews of this, so I don't know if it's OP or not, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion as I always do. Now, feel free to skip ahead if you just want to see the gameplay, but we're just going to rerun all of these weapons. The next one we have is a primary exquisite bagpipes. It's automatic and it increases damage to allies. I don't really like the look of this weapon. I'm, I'm usually a sucker for a good looking weapon. I don't know why. Either way, um, we've got a new primary section. It's legendary, but I'm guessing we'll be able to be uploaded to uh, mythical. I don't think you need to upgrade the weapons like this to mythical though. I reckon legendary is good enough, which is why they're a legendary weapon. So that's the primary section weapon. We have another one, which is the pyro, which I actually thought was a sniper at first. And I think when I first seen this, I think it was a sniper. I'm not sure if they've changed it. I, I'm pretty confident it was. Either way, we got two primaries and one sniper. So this one is the Pyro 1116. I believe that's named after the person who created this weapon because I think this is part of the draw contest. Level 55, it's automatic, it's burning, and protects from burning. So not only does it set people on fire, you're also immune from being set on fire. Okay, not going to complain because there's quite a few uh, burning effect weapons in this game. So against the flamethrower, you're going to be doing pretty good. So I, I got to try this one as well. The next one is a sniper that looks like an RPG. Dude, this would have been such a good RPG heavy section weapon. Uh, sorry, yeah, heavy section weapon. The Sparkling Hydra, level 55, efficiency 208, legendary sniper. Doesn't really look like a sniper to me, but it's, it's, it's a sniper. It's a single shot, chain damage, slows down target. We've seen those effects before. I'm um, not sure if we've seen them all together though, so that's going to be quite interesting. And then last but not least, <laughs> we have a pretty funny backup. So a really interesting special with the sheep and a very interesting backup as well. Tiny Resizer, level 55, efficiency 208, legendary single shot, head enlargement. It's going to make your head massive. It's going to be like a massive target. I don't know how OP these weapons are going to be, so of course I will bring you guys my honest reviews as time does go by. Let's buy this bad boy. Whew, it's going to be expensive, but it's okay. Alright, so this one, we need to put some modules on it. I think I gained some rewards from inside of here. We did gain a couple of rewards inside of there. Uh, modules, right. It has a capacity of 100, so I'm guessing since it's a charge shot, you're probably best off having a faster reloader. Now, I need to take off a couple of um, things away from here. Well, what have I got? We'll take away the Sly Wolf for now. We'll put it back. 
on this bad boy. Nope, that's wrong. Go back. What am I doing? Here. Level 3. Uh, ammunition reload. We don't need ammunition. It's a charge shot. So that would be a waste on this weapon. And effects duration. So I'm kind of curious if the effects duration will work better on this one. Like, will it make them be a sheep for a little bit longer? The higher the module? I don't really know. All right, we've got one of these to open. Let's open this bad boy. And then let's begin to open this one. And I think that's the majority of the things I need to go through. I think there's a couple of weapons inside of here. But apart from that, guys, let's test this weapon. You know it. Brand new game. It's we got to start this on full party. It'd be crazy not to. So I'm not entirely sure how, how long the range is on this. But when I seen somebody firing it, like you really can't see the bullets that well. What did he throw? Did he throw something at me there? Dude, what is that? Oh, that's the rook. Oh, my lord, I've never seen that before. Is he still down there? There he is. Yes! We turned him into the sheep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude, this is going to be such a fun weapon to use, man. It's gonna be such a fun weapon to use. My screen keeps shaking. It's so annoying, dude, with the shaking screen. I'm gonna snipe him. He's so dead. Come on. No? So with this, when you let go, if you move, it's not 100% accurate. This is gonna be, I reckon this is gonna be one of those weapons that is a fun ability, but not the greatest of weapons. Do you know what I mean? It's something fun to use, and that's about it. So, got him. He's back into a sheep again, dude down there somewhere. I wonder how many people you can turn into a sheep at once, too. Come on. And I will tell you if you hit them because it says stunned. And what happens if you hit somebody who's got the reflector on? See, these are the questions we have to ask. Hi. How is he not... How is he not a sheep, then? I hit him and he wasn't a sheep. Okay, we'll try again. There they are. He's a sheep. One sheep. Two sheep. Yes! Three sheep. So many sheep. Lots of sheep. Yes, he's a sheep. Dude, that guy was spamming that hard. I mean, it, seemed, it is pretty fun to use already. I can already tell this is going to be such a fun weapon to mess around with people. 35, 29, we're winning this now, boys. That thing's shooting me. Whoa. Yes. 38, 32. Come on. This guy's following him. Yes, he's a sheep. Look at him. Come on, come on. We got him. I hit him once. So I think this might be a two-shot. Whoa, dude. That's not how it's going to happen. Not right now. I'm sorry, man. Not today, bro. Samurai. Not good at a, at, a, at a high level. Pretty good at a lower level, but not good at a higher level. Hi. Hi. Anybody? We're all taking over now. I'm out of bullets. No, we're good. We're good. Yes, we turned him into a sheep. I love this weapon. It's actually pretty fun to use. Got him. I don't know how we managed to pull a victory off there. I still managed to get nine kills. Interesting start to today's weapon review. I think turning people into a sheep is a very fun experience. Um, it's not for a very long time though. I think it's like three, five seconds. All right guys, we gotta try this on a point capture because people are gonna be in the same area and I feel like this will be most effective in an area where there's a lot of people. Like this guy is now the sheep. Yeah, so you hit them once and then you can kill them with another weapon. I mean, that's pretty interesting. I kind of like it. I actually really do like it. It's just a fun experience in this game. There's a guy to my left. He's going to come from there. There he is. Sorry, buddy. Look at him. <laughs> He's a sheep. Where are you going, Mr. Sheep? <laughs> so if you're a sheep, you're really low on health. Is what I'm guessing. Hi. Do you want to be a sheep again? I don't think he does this time. Come on, we're losing this, actually. We need to bring this back. Way to go, dude. There we go. I see you. Oh, he got me. Oh, the guy above me got me. It's okay, we're winning, we're winning. Yeah, so point capture is probably going to be the good game, the best game for me to do this on. Yes, we, we got him. Look, look at him, he's a sheep, dude. Kill him. Kill the sheep. 
Oh, what a cop! What a shot! I was gonna say I got him, but what a shot! That was a decent shot. I joined this late, but we're gonna take victory here. Yeah, so I think point capture will be a really good game mode for this weapon. Just because of what it offers. Get him out. He's dead. Let's make sure we capture this again, dudes. I think I've got some point catch challenges to do, so we could have one or two games of this. I think we managed to do it anyway. We joined a little bit late, but I'll take the victory there. <laughs> I like this weapon. Six kills. We joined a little bit too late there, though. All right, then, mining camp. This hasn't long started, so we'll give this one a go. How you doing, man? I think that guy killed himself. I got, I got a sheep thing. Do it. Shoot me. What? How did I- oh, I- I think you literally do have to hold it in fully though in order for it to work. Otherwise I don't think it's gonna work if you don't hold it in all the way. I see you man, I see you. There he is, got him, okay. How far does this go to? That's a good question. How far can you fire this weapon? Does it go all the way because it's a charge shot or does it have a limit? I'm missing this guy every time though. Not anymore. Oh, we turned a samurai into a sheep. That's new. That was pretty cool too. Let's get away from our base. All right, sheep, sheep. Did you get him? I missed him, he left. Poor dude. Poor dude left the game. All right, we're gonna throw this right in the middle. I think I'll a couple of kills here. Spark shark. Okay, we're winning though. We are winning. This guy thinks he's doing great. Huh? He's get off the point. Yeah, the only problem I have with these weapons is it's, it's quite difficult to move and stuff. That's always been the same with any kind of charge shot weapon, but I think if, if it wasn't this way, it would be way too easy. He's a sheep. He's a sheep. He's not. He's dead. He's a dead boy. We're winning now, though. These guys thought they were gonna win, huh? You guys, got, I got another. You got, I got something else coming for you. Get away, let's go. We're losing A now, though. Dude, you gotta capture them. That's the whole point of this. It's point capture. Point capture, then kill. Capture the points and then kill. Okay, let's capture this back. Sticky out. Am I not capturing this or something? No? Are we not capturing this? Are we not allowed or something? Game is broken. We're gonna lose this and I don't really know how. Finally it's letting us capture another one. These guys are shooting through walls. I think we lost because we just couldn't collect this th that flag. Dude, you can shoot me all you want. I got my reflection on. Oh, I was so close to dying anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't let us capture A. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bug or what, but... Still got a couple of kills that game. Still, I got 10 kills, but... The captures, we need the captures. Uh, we still turned a couple of people into sheep. So, from my experience of this weapon so far, it's good for turning enemies into sheep. We're gonna go back to Emporia. But the bad thing is, like, the, the charge sometimes take a little bit of time and you can't fire a lot of bullets consecutively. It's a 1v1 situation. Probably the best place to try and experiment this would probably be in 1v1s. He's captured over there. I'm gonna wait for him to go and get... He's gonna get uh, B before me, so we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. I'll, uh, sticky him. And then I'll get him. Look at him, he's a baby sheep and he's stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, you better back away, buster. This is gonna be my flag. Yeah, so it's gonna be a good way to... He's, he's shooting through there. He's still shooting through there. Is he a sheep again? <laughs> Dude, you got, you got no chance. Oh, this is such a fun experiment, you know. My own, I'm, I'm in here on my own at this moment. Here he is. Do you wanna be another sheep? Seems to like to be sheep. Sorry, buddy. I'm not letting you capture this. I need a win. Let's go and get this one back. I need to win these games. 
He's going for A, that's okay. As long as you have two flags, no chance we're gonna lose. I'm just gonna wait for him to go inside of B, which he's gonna do, hopefully. Come on, buddy. There you are. Missed him. He knows, he knows. Nah. He knows if he gets anywhere near me, I'm gonna turn him into a sheep. He's gonna spawn over here, though. There he is. Sorry, buddy. It's a 1v1 point capture. What a very, very strange, strange experience this is. Which one's he going for? He's going for C. Okay. <laughs> Can we get there before he captures it, though? Come on, witch's cauldron. Yes! What a shot that was! Where are you, Mr. Sheep? Did I kill him? I don't know if that killed him or not. He must have escaped! It's a 2v1 situation right now. So I think it needs to be at 100% in order for you to um, turn the enemies fully. So in order for me to turn this guy into... Whoa, he killed him. Let's go and get him, let's go and get him, let's go and get him. Can we snipe him? Missed him. I mean, we're gonna stay here anyway. Oh, that guy got him with the torpedo. So yeah, interesting weapon, guys. Kind of a fun weapon. I'm enjoying myself with this thing. We'll go to a death match and see if we can turn multiple people to a sheep at a time. Because in that kind of map, it's small. I reckon we better turn them as a group sheep. So I know I'm playing pool party quite a lot, guys. But it's the best map to try these kind of weapons. Come on. Get them all out, dude. Whoa. I didn't mean a rocket jump then. There's also another guy in here. Yeah, I turned that other dude into a sheep, but... I don't think it was going to be enough. Yes! Somebody's got to die from this. Hi. You okay there, Mr. Sheep? I don't think so. That's why. You're dead. Get him out. Yeah, you missed. Now it's my turn. Got him. We joined a little bit late with this game as well. Oh, that guy got owned. Where? 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 Where am I being shot from? Where am I being shot from, dude? Double kill with the uh, the pause. There's gonna be a guy down here. All, all, all it is with this one, guys, is a case of um, just firing off as many shots as you can, dude. Because the enemies can't use any anything when they're turned into a sheep. They can't use anything. They're plain and simply stuck. Let's go. Still in here? I see you. I'm here to win, boys and girls. In those second places. Ain't no second places on my team. We're here to win. I just realized that's a sly wolf and that's quite difficult to play against. <laughs> I'm in fourth place though. We joined a little bit late, so. I'm kinda happy if we get a victory here. Woo, there's a lot of weapons being fired, dude. There's a lot of weapons. I missed them, I missed them. The only problem is if you do miss someone, you are in big trouble with this kind of weapon. It's like a sniper. If you miss that person, you're gonna lose the sniper fight. Oh, man, there was so many shots going off there. All right, here we go. He's not dead. How is, how is he not changed? Did I not hit him? It doesn't really have a big area damage with this, though. How am I not getting these? How did I not get that guy's kill, dude? Like, stick you out. Dead. The guy behind me, he's dead. Get him out. Get them all out, dude. Got them. Woo! 30 seconds. We need a couple of punch kills here. Missed them. Missed them all. Second place still, guys. Stop. It's gonna be a tight one. Hi. How? It says I registered a shot, but he doesn't turn. What is that? What is this game? It's not gonna be enough. We're not going to be able to salvage any kind of victory here. I think a second place. Third place, dude. Oh, man. We're so close. Third place. <laughs> that was crazy. But, yeah, I think the... 
Conclusion. Ah, oh, dude, that was a close game, actually. Conclusion with this weapon so far is if you hit somebody, great. But if you miss that shot, you are in big trouble. Because if you miss your shot, it takes quite a little bit of time to recharge it up in order to then fire it again. Did a couple of challenges there. Enemies while in the air. I'll take it. Um, so I think for a deathmatch, it's a good weapon to use. But, man, it's, it is actually quite tricky. It is. Let's try an Aztec Temple because this map, you don't really have much place to go anywhere. So, this will be a fun one to play it on. Providing, providing that people stay on the floor. Apparently, I killed myself. How? Can you kill yourself with this weapon? How do I kill myself? Unless he had reflection on it. I didn't see a reflection, though. Water sheep. Rest his, rest his soul. Nah, it's gonna be a difficult map to use this. Too many jumping, spamming weapons. See what I mean, guys? It fires like an arrow. You're a sheep, wait, it's water sheep. I gotta turn water sheep into a sheep. It would make sense. Instead, I turn this guy into a sheep. Didn't even see him flying, man. I don't even know how we're still in this. But we're actually doing okay. Get away, dude. You can shoot me all you want. You're stuck. Yes! Get him out of there! That was a nice kill, actually. We didn't turn him into a sheep. We just turned him into dust. There's a guy down there. Did we hit him? I think we did. I did that time. Torpedo launcher, man. Such a good weapon. I hate this side of the map, though. I don't like spawning this side. Because you get trapped behind the, uh, the spawns. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so many good specials at this moment, though. This guy's just x-raying through the wall. I, what was that? What was he using? I took damage. Was that the Toxic Bane? Is that, is that what you guys were telling me to use? I think I think a bunch of people have been telling me to use that weapon. Sorry, water sheep. Woo! Let's go. Stuck. Oh, dude, nice shot. What a kill he got me with there. I was like mid-flying, mid-jump, and he still sliced me open. See you, water sheep. Get him out. Sorry, Mr. Water Sheep. Right, we are winning this. Haven't really had many attempts with this weapon, though. Did that time. I'm coming for ya. It's such a fun weapon to use. It is. Yeah, you wanna have, have a melee battle, do you, dude? How? How do you kill somebody and then still die? Even though they're dead by that person. That's been happening a lot. I missed him. I missed him, dude. Where? Who? Oh, the guy with the Poseidon trident. Remember when that thing was first introduced to the game and it was so OP? Is he, is he in our spawn? I see you, man. Gotta back away a minute. He's coming through. Well, it's a win. 13 kills. Not too bad. Didn't really get many kills with this in this one, though. Safely say that. Not many kills this time with this weapon, but I'll take it. It's another win. Okay, not too bad. All right, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. I think it's acceptable to, to use this one. Where am I being shot from? I didn't even see where this guy's at, but I'm going to throw this over here. I have no idea where that was coming from. Is that going to get him? That one will. There we go. Sheep boy. Two sheeps. Three sheeps. That's good. We should get ourselves a couple of kills there as well. So if you survive a sheep, right, what does it do to you? Does it turn you just back to normal and you have full health? Or have you lost half your health? Or what? It's the, that's the why. I haven't seen that for a while. Another guy here too. Get him. Get him. Fist of Fury. Get him out. I'm so dead. Yeah. No way I was going to survive that one. Coming through. Missed him. Got him. That guy is a target? Ah! So we've learned that the eagle, that, that proud eagle does mark 
your enemies for everybody. My teammate walks into, that's the problem, the only problem I have with this weapon so far, major problem, is that if your teammates walk in front of your shots, it, it you're screwed. Because it will hit your, it will hit your uh, teammates. Can you get this, can we get this guy? What the? Okay then, that was quite weird. How is he not dead from that though? He's either gotta die, or turn into a sheep. And he didn't do any. Oh, I, I could tr my my iPad moved. I'm trying to get some sheep here. I need some fresh sheep. See what I mean? I I hit that guy. I gotta pull out this weapon to get some kills, have I? Who? Where? 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 So they messed up crosshairs because when you're getting shot now, it's the opposite direction. It's so difficult. I don't know why. I don't know why they make changes like this to this game, man. You, you do not need crosshairs to be back to front. You, not crosshairs, sorry, hit markers. Whenever you get hit, you get hit back to front. And it doesn't make sense. This guy just doesn't want to die either. Now he is. Yes! Didn't get the kill for that, though. I'm moving, I'm moving. Man, it's a really heavy witch's broom, to, uh, which is not broom, which is cauldron. Got him. Or what happens if you turn a, can you turn a pet into a sheep? Is that what it does too? Yes. Sheep. Let's go. I didn't get the kill up. Wait, you're still a sheep. He died now. 44, 30. Okay, 18. I didn't do that great in that one. It's not a weapon you're going to get lots of kills with. It's just something that's fun. All right, let's try checkmate. Again, I think it's going to be another difficult map for this kind of weapon, but we can always try it out anyway, right? Get him out of there, dude. Get him out of there. Where's, who else is shooting me? This guy is. Come on, witch's broom. Witch, I keep calling witch's broom. It's not a witch's broom, is it? Sheep! Sheep! Come on, sheep, you gotta go home. <laughs> A lot of these players will probably be turning into a sheep for their first time, so it's quite interesting to see their reactions. <laughs> that guy was probably like, wait, what? I'm a sheep? How? How is that? What is this? I'm a sheep. Whoa! Didn't even see that guy till late. My problem is not being able to jump while holding this weapon. Is there a way to figure that out? I think somebody told me there might be a control that I can do. That was a nice kill too. I wasn't even aiming for that guy, but I killed him. This map changes quite a lot as the game goes by, so. Yes. Coming. I'm coming. Yes. Got him. Another guy behind me somewhere. Again, I don't even know where the hit markers are coming from because this game doesn't make sense anymore. Missed them. Like I said, if I miss a shot, you're, you're kind of screwed. You gotta make them shots. I don't know where you're going, dude. Get them out. This guy is on their team. Weird Dot is his name. They gotta sort that out as well, man. People have like dots as their name. You can't see. You can't see them. Yeah, shoot me. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me. Yes! 20 60. This is a close game, man. Come on, Cauldron. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Missed him. This guy's getting a bunch of kills. Let's kill him. Whew! Got me back. They all walk straight into them. Come on, where are you guys? Enemy. Yes! That was a nice shot. I don't know how we're clutching on to a victory here so far, though. Because they are catching up. Where? Where is he? I don't even know where the shots are coming from. This guy. 
See, you gotta hold it down, man. It sucks, because you gotta hold that weapon down. Dude, what are you doing? Get out of our spawn. Now we're losing. We're gonna lose this so badly now. They're in our spawn. Get them out. I'm on your team. You're trying to shoot me. Oof. 34, 34. This is close. There he is. Got him. Sticky out. 36, 38. We're winning still. He's clearly not on our team. My teammate's not playing. That's why they got free kills, dude. Give, give us a chance. I'm just using this because I know I get kills with this. Still drawing. How do we lose, man? That is such a painful game. Pixel Gun, give me a key. at least one good player. It's all I needed. But that kind of map, the cauldron really isn't good for that kind of map. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 200 gems. We completed the calendar challenge. Yo, let's go. We did it. We did it. The calendar challenge, we completed the get 35 of them done. Not bad. All right, guys. We're going to end the weapon review there. I think you've seen enough. I think I've seen enough. So, my conclusion on this weapon, right, it's a fun experience in Pixel Gun 3D because we've never seen this before. However, it's really not the best of weapons. Now, if you hit an enemy, that's great, but if you miss the enemy, nine times out of ten, you're going to die because of how much you need to reload this weapon up because it's a charge shot. Charge shot weapons take a little bit of time to load up, and in some cases, they're not the greatest. Um, I mean, I don't know if there's a, a, a way in settings to, you know, for your controls, is there a way to get myself like an extra button so I can jump again? Is there two jump buttons? You know, we got one on the left over here. Is there another jump button? Because if we could jump on the left and hold that weapon and then move around, it would probably make things a little bit easier. Doesn't really make things easier. That's the only problem I had with that one. You're, you are kind of stuck to the ground with this kind of weapon. It's the same with any other charge shot kind of weapons. We did see a... Someone was using, I think it was this, the energy drill. They're charge shot weapons, so you, you hold them down and you, you hope for the best. And you probably see those kind of weapons in smaller maps. So, good weapon if you hit the target. If you miss it, you're dead. Fun weapon, but I feel like the fun and enjoyment will wear off after a pretty fast, to be honest. Once you've turned one or two or three into sheep, it's... Yeah, it's like, okay, they're a sheep now, I'm over it. So, I don't think this weapon's worth the price from the trader's van. So unless you guys have got spare coins to spend, I wouldn't recommend getting it. It's a novelty experience that will wear off after maybe playing it for a day or two. But that's my review, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's a good weapon and a, de a very different experience in Pixel Gun 3D. So that's what we're always looking for. So if you are looking for a different experience, check it out. Guys, have a great day. Stay beautiful. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.